Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before proceeding further, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pane and watch video completely. If you find some are important, then pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have find any difficulties or problem, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Let us see what the question says. A solid sphere of radius capital R gravitationally attract a particle placed at 3R from its center with a force F1. Now, a spherical cavity of radius R by 2 is made in the sphere according to the figure and the force becomes F2. The value of F1 and F2 is, you have given 4 options, 41 is to 50, option B, 25 is to 36, option C, 36 is to 25 and last option D, 50 is to 41. And this question is asked, J means 2021. Okay, first of all, we have understand essence of this question. Here, you have given a big sphere and a particle and find out the force and then we have to bring out some cavity of R by 2 radius. Then, as usual, you know that here, the gravitational force is directly proportional to the mass. Here, mass is reduced, hence force is also reduced. Then let us first we have to consider this cavity, find out this mass of this cavity and this force, obviously it is in negative direction and then subtract and then we will calculate. Okay, I hope so you understand what is the basic idea or central concept of this question. Here, the mass of the big sphere is m and what is the formula of mass? Volume into density. Let the density will be rho. 4 by 3 pi r q and rho. If we have to taken out this sphere of radius of r by 2. Now, this mass of this solid of r by 2 which we have to taken out. Then what is the mass begin? m dash equal to 4 by 3 pi r by 2 q and rho. Then m dash equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube by 8 and rho. Then you can see that its mass is become m by 8. Okay. So let us consider for a while this solid attraction force between the this and this particle is m by 8 and r by 2 radius of the sphere and this particle m and find out this gravitational force and this force is negative direction. Why? Because it is the cavity. It is not actually solid. So therefore, for a while, we have to find out Fc. Okay, this force we have to consider Fc. Then g m by 8 and small particle is m and the radius, this point, this is the 2r and this is r by 2. Then 2r and r by 2 whole square. How much Fc equal to G capital M small m by 8, 2 to the 4 and 1, 5, 5 R whole square. Now 2 square become 4 and it goes to the numerator. Okay, 4 1 the 4, 4 to the 8, Fc equal to G M small m upon 5 square means 25 to the 50 R square. Here we have considered for a while it is solid, but it is not actually solid because we have taken out. So therefore gravity will be reduced. Then what is become F2? Now F2 equal to G capital M small m and the distance. Now F2 for F2 initial Initial force G 
capital M, small m, and what is the distance from this particle to R and R? 3 R whole square minus this part will be have to be taken out, or we have to make the cavity. Then what is the formula G M small m and 50 R square? Because it is minus some mass is reduced from this, so therefore new F2, this new force become F2. G M small m and R square get common. Now it become 1 by 9 square. 3 square means 1 by 9. 1 by 50. Then what is F2? G capital M small m R square taking the LCM 450. Then it become 50 minus 9. Then F2 equal to G capital M small m R square 41 upon 450. So it is F2. And what we have to find out? To find out F1 by F2. We have already found out F1, G, capital M, small m upon 9R square and G, M, small m, 41R square and 450. G, M, M cancel out. R square cancel out, 9, 5 is a 45, 0, 0. So, F1 upon F2 equal to 50 by 45. 41, it is our correct answer. I hope so. You understand this question? Thank you for staying till the end of the video. And yes, don't forget to subscribe my channel. That can get the link for the next video. Thank you. Take care and bye-bye.